Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we have an absolute banger of a video for you because all the creators in this video we all know and they make some fantastic content so you're in for some good videos today. They will all be listed in the description down below in the order that I watched them. Some of these were recommended on my discord but I pretty much found these for myself because I've, I'm subscribed to them so they came up on my feed but yeah we're gonna jump into them. If you want to submit me some scary stuff be sure to join the discord that's in the description down below submit me something in the scare bad submission if i react to the video i'll give you a shout out so we're going to start off with valox and i believe valox actually posted this in the discord themselves this one's called night shift fnaf vhs it's only just under two minutes and it says this tape was recorded by one of the three missing guards during their shift at freddy fazbear's jr the company claimed that the animatronics facial recognition probably glitched out due to the low light levels but this doesn't explain why the animatronics acted so aggressively after mistakenly identifying the guard as a criminal 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 so this is fnf2 fnf2 what was that sound was that just damn what the hell did you just do to balloon boy bro you need to get the mask on my ass Or to come to think about it, if you were like, if, you know, FNAF 2 was an actual thing and you didn't, you know, it wasn't the mechanics of putting the mask on and looking left, looking right, just to wander around the office, it would be absolutely terrifying knowing how many of these things are coming for you. Woo! Sweet baby Jesus. Oh, they're actually running. I bet the puppet's going to mess them up. Gonna give him the one, two. One, two, three, four. Headbutt. Elbow. Knee. Other knee. Oh my god, Chica's got them freaking muscle. Well, it's an animatronic, Ryan. It's not him. Oh, okay, so they're all kind of. He's already dead. Oh. I couldn't stop it. Damn. It's not your fault. Stop messing with the new animatronics then. You cannot control them. I'm sorry. So this is what, Golden Freddy? For the put. It's all my fault. Wow. That was a horrifying picture right there. Once again, Valos, keep up the great work. That was fantastic. So obviously... Because the puppet was kind of like the obviously the puppet master, I guess, of all. They're the, they were the reason why all the animatronics came to life in the first place with these souls or whatever. But it seems like the, I thought the golden speech was Golden Freddy. So is Golden Freddy above the puppet? Like it's like the mastermind behind it all? Because the, the writing was golden and they were saying like, oh, it wasn't him. But apparently they can't control the toy animatronics. They probably can't control them because of the the database, right? The criminal database, the facial recognition system. That was awesome. Be sure to subscribe to Valox. We are going to move on. So the next video, guys, is by Darian Quilloy. Uh, you know him as the guy who makes Vita Carnis, which is a fantastic little just world universe that's being built. This is called Message. Here we go, baby. Lightweight material. December 30th, 1990. New Year's Eve Eve. In the distant horizon, yeah. the group of monoliths stand vacant. Although close horizon. off to outside. Hey, listen, if you want to, if you want, listen, I can do a David Attenborough. Look, look, let, let me, let me read what this, what, here we go. In the distant horizon, the group of monoliths stand vacant. Although closed off to outsiders, their stands can be observed while well outside the perimeter. Okay, sorry. New log message to Carcass. It Carcass. is known to have hundreds of thousands of fibers that weave themselves deep underground, mm. all connected in a grand mycelial network. Damn. So uh, the thing is, is are these things connecting to other things? Like for example, the harvesters. The harvesters are absolutely disgusting. This is the way you this yeah. This is like you What's that? I don't know what my goal is. 
The private organization of containment and research consult association society, CARCAS, has been experiencing backlash from government agencies about cooperation and violation of newly introduced politics of... Okay. Oh, yeah, we've seen all these before. These are, these uh, come up, uh, I think it was during the actual big documentary, and they would kind of flash in between. Largest meat snake. <laughs> well, it's not here, let me tell you that. Why does she look so freaking horrifying? Uh, authorities refuse to handle the harvester, only putting up warning and addressing the public to be more careful. Jesus. I get what the thing is in this world, the, the harvesters and all the these little, you know, creatures that come from this thing. They're natural now, I guess, but they popped up out of nowhere. So I guess it's similar to seeing signs about like um mountain lions or bears you know what i mean but the fact that harvesters are just out there they should be sealed off completely who so this carcass company isn't the company behind this there's, there's a company above that like a shadow company kind of like real life you know when you think your government's in control it's not there's there's people above the government that make you know without sounding like a complete conspir conspiracy theorist it's it, listen we're not in charge okay Taiko. oh okay so this is going in going off the new flavor enhancer deluxe newly rebranded protects is an instant hit so what's the connection there then? Crimes, crimes, traces of information. I've collected these pieces and thrown them out of sounds. Oh yeah, so these are the these are harvester locations, and I'm I'm not sure where this is. Uh, this is a fictitious island here, but this is a state, I believe. Here, I forgot what state it was. Um. And just here, the, the harvesters are slowly moving closer to this island, and I'm not sure what's actually on this island. Cult gather. Monolith, host, cruel, trimming, meat snake. Well, and they all come from this thing here, and that's called the singularity, right? They all lead here, move into the island. Is that where the singularity is? Hmm. Okay. It's that thing there, the singularity. Man, this is getting interesting. I'm, I'm definitely curious to see where it's going to go and like what, what the end goal of these things is. The monoliths are truly an astonishing sight to behold. They, they definitely are. They're very, well, I mean, they're terrifying to look at. Imagine seeing one of those in the distance at night or something. I don't know how you'd see it, but... Anyone with megalophobia would hate that. Ooh, they ripped out a page. Thanks for watching. No problem, man. That was awesome. Uh, but yeah, that was Darian Quilloy. Be sure to like, subscribe. Actually, I didn't like the other video. So the next one is another Mr. Manticore video, which is mad because Mr. Manticore is just knocking these out the pack. Oh, he must have been working on these, like for quite a while to just release them as they are because these are like days between each other it used to be like weeks this is called angel 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 lashes angel ashes the monument mythos uh the cathonaut transmission is godspeed angel let's jump into this
Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Where is where is that? Is that on a rock? Is that meant to be um what's the name? The person was beheaded and then the three snakes took over. Man. Jesus. It's so beautiful. Moss would be going mad right now. We are sorry. We are sorry. Everyone is free now. We do not feel free. Wait, what? She deaf in Egypt. Wait, what? Third chance you ever asked for. 222 2022. And the video is 222. 23. Oh, so the 22nd of February, I think, was last it was last year when the world ended, I believe. I always have to go to the comments for this one. So the angels saved the timeline. So what we saw was one outcome of what potentially happened when the world ended. And this is a different outcome. I always get it wrong when it comes to like Mr. Manticore's videos. Uh, but this is season three. And I believe it's an alternate edition of what happened, I guess. A different timeline of events. We, we shall see in the future. But yeah, that was awesome. We are moving on now to Urban Spook. And Urban Spook makes some horrific content. You know what? We're just going to jump into this. Okay, so it's called Analog Horror Witness. This video contains violent and disturbing content. And what, they do mean that. When, when they say that, they mean it. They had to start doing this at the start of videos because people didn't like past um, uploads, I guess, where certain topics were brought up and themes were brought up now they have a content warning so three days ago tina rosenberg was reported missing along with her boyfriend and younger sister the boyfriend jack striker wanted to take tina on a south coast road trip for her 20th birthday Flora Rosenberg, the younger sister of Tina, was also invited for this road trip. Jack, Tina, Flora. Jack's car was found two days ago in, in the woods. There were signs of struggle inside the car. There, were also, there was also a painting. Oh, God. Flower face Flora. Oh, God. What? She did, ripped a freaking mouth open. While searching the car, police heard screaming from deep within the woods. Police followed the screams until they found a grisly sight. Tina was found tied to a tree with her feet and arms cut off. She was still alive and conscious. Jeez. That's mad. The mutilated corpse of Flora Rosenberg could also be located. 
Man, I gotta give it to like um, first responders. Because I know this is fake, obviously, but there are things like this that happen. And you've got to have such a strong stomach. Because obviously, when you join like the police force or, you know, the ambulance service or whatever, paramedics, your, your, your goal in mind is to help people. And so when you, you come to these scenes that are so gruesome and grisly, it, I don't know, it must like do something mentally to you. Like the fact that they have to do it day in, day out. Obviously, some days are better than others. But overall, you're going to be witnessing a lot of death, a lot of new, you know, gr grotesque scenes. Um, you've got to have a stomach for it. And I, I've got, I have nothing res but respect for like first responders and just people who have to go and, you know, cut people out of cars or just witness this horrible stuff. It's mad. Her head had been smashed in with a hammer. Jesus. I don't want to know that. Tina told the police that the murderer was still around somewhere. However, no one could be found. What about the other one? What's his name? After escorting Tina from the scene, the police returned to the car and found another painting. So he was just waiting around? Mad. Jack, the painting had just been put there. The title Long Jack had hastily been written on its back. Long Jack. This is the painting. What on earth did you do? I mean, it's, it's got it's skill. I'll give him that, but my god. Jack has still not been found. Long Jack, what could that even mean? In Tina's own words, this is what happened that night. Oh god, here we go. We're getting a bit of... There's no, There hasn't been a survivor. So maybe what happened was... This guy must have left. Either they caught up to them pretty fast. And he didn't have time to finish doing what he wanted to do to Tina. Or he purposefully left them because it feels like... He had these paintings ready to go. Meaning that Jack was probably the first guy to die. And Tina was the second... And then the third was, ah, uh, no, no, what, what's her name? Was this, you know what? It's, it's, I don't know if he wants to be caught or if he's just playing with fire here. I remember waking up in the car. Jack was gone and I could hear someone approaching. Okay, so yeah, Jack was already gone at this point. Next thing I remember. I was tied to that tree. I was injected with something. Ooh. This reminds me of, um, it's a bit of off tangent, but there was that um, case of that guy. For some reason, he wanted to kill it. He wanted to basically unalive themselves, right? But the way that they decided to do it was to tie themselves to a tree. And he would keep the key in his pocket. Uh, and he would, uh, like, he changed his mind like three or four times. And then the last time, he decided to throw the key away. But you, when they found him like dead, like a, like a few days later or a week or so later, you could see like there were scratches on the wrists where he was trying to get out, where he obviously changed his mind again. I don't know why you do that, why you choose that way to go. It's, it's, it's crazy. I could hear my sister screaming. Oh God. She was screaming for our mum. Oh man. No, I wouldn't want to live after hearing. Oh God. Here, Cause she basically just heard her sister's head getting smashed in and like begging for mercy and not, oh my God. I don't know. I remember whispering. And her face. Oh God. Her face. She's still alive? This is a police sketch of the murderer based on Tina's description. It's gonna be a jump scare. 
Oh, God, man. He's got a bum chin. He's got those just lifeless, dark voids for eyes. There we go, guys. That was um, Witness by Urban Spook. Obviously, the, the killer's either getting sloppy or the killer is just liking the thrill of it, like keeping someone alive. Because they've obviously had like pictures and like descriptions, image descriptions of the killer. So they know what they look like somewhat. So there's a theory here by Morbid Minded Maniac saying that the painting was done before the, the thing. So he knew what he wanted to do with them, painted it out while stalking them down and then killed them, which explains how they managed to get two paintings in the car in such a quick amount of time. Like, he didn't just kill them, paint, kill them, paint. He painted them before, then killed them. And there, it could, there could be like a twist where it's like there is an artist behind it who draws these things and sends a killer out to do it for them, maybe. But yeah, once again, brilliant stuff. Go subscribe to Urban Spook, guys. So this one is an interesting one, guys. This is Nixon. Nixon uh, was known for creating The Joy of Creation, which is a very, very good FNAF game, which is uh, being remade, I believe, for the FNAF fan games. And the work there looks incredible. And they decided they wanted to try out an analog horror. And they tweeted out saying, I might put this on YouTube. And I retweeted saying, yes, please put this on YouTube, basically. And it's nice to see it here. They actually have a second video, which I might include in a later video. We're going to jump into this. This is Nixon. Oh, it'll be, be sure to be in the description down below. It's called PART Tape 1 Background. Disclaimer. Footage from classified Soviet tapes dated between 1961 and 1972 is featured in this film. For your eyes only. Interesting. Tape one, background. On the Vostok one mission, Yuri Gagarin. Okay, yeah, Yuri Gagarin was the first human to venture into space. The Soviet Union maintained heavy secrecy and protected its space knowledge fervently in the space program. After Yuri arrived back on Earth, he seemed disorientated and wondered why the journey only lasted just a short of an hour. Yuri was gone 108 minutes. His memories from halfway through the flight were missing. The last thing he remembers seeing before descending was what? A white celestial body. Okay, interesting. After coming home, he began exhibiting paranoid behavior and had to abandon astronomical observation because he frequently forgot what he was doing. While Yuri allegedly shared these experiences with family, there is no official documented evidence. He did not participate in any further space missions. Should I stop reading like that? Is that annoying? I'll stop reading like that. On March 27th, 1968, seven years after his famous flight, Yuri Gagarin tragically died in a plane crash during a routine training mission along with his instructor. Is that true? Oh, it's true. Damn, that sucks, man. He went all the way to freaking space and then died in a training flight. The cause of the crash remains a mystery. I like stuff like this, that this is why I kind of liked uh, Mr. Manticore's videos, because it plays with the idea of reality. And um, I think pa Patariku did it as well. Just playing with the idea of reality, but slightly twisting history. So it's like a, an alternative reality to what actually happened. So it feels like it could be real. Two photographs pur purported to be from Yuri's film role have recently been discovered. The images were taken clandestinely by a relative after Yuri had passed away and before Soviet officials confiscated his belongings, including the entire role of film. Damn. That's one. Whoa! Do not look! Oh god, it stopped re my thing stopped recording. It's like an eye or something. Interesting. It'll be interesting to see where that goes. Like I said, there is a part two to this. Nixon, if you're watching this, uh, I don't know if you will be, but you should definitely continue because you, I mean, you're super talented as is, you know, with creating um, the FNAF fan games and stuff, but it's nice to see you take on something else that's kind of outside of your what you're known for 
and I think that you'll be really good at it to be fair this one's very it's, it's looking promising that's for sure so there we go guys that was Nixon be sure to subscribe like the video all that good stuff and there we have it guys that is today's video like I said some fantastic videos there be sure to subscribe to all the creators down below in the description and if you guys enjoyed this reaction why not leave a like rate and subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video take care guys